Hi, this is Sean Chua. Welcome back to SimpleChemConcepts.com. Now, in the previous videos, I've discussed on the basic concepts of electrolysis in electrolytic cells. I've also discussed on the selective discharge of ions, both the cations and then anions uh, in electrolytic cells, when you have more than one cation and one anions in the electrolyte itself. All right? Now, today I'm going to share with you on how we're going to apply all this together to solve exam-based questions. Now, in my SEC for O-level pure chemistry tuition classes for the last 19 years, I have always used sodium chloride as an example where we discuss selective discharge of ions, right? So today I'm going to use the same uh, set of questions on the board to share with you, right? So normally I would create a table like this for my students, all right? And then uh, we will then very quickly recap what is electrolytic cell, all right? So you have an electrolytic cell with positive negative uh, so-called charges of the battery and then you have your electrodes, if you still remember all this, if you have forgotten, do revise uh, and recap using my previous videos. And then this electrolyte, these are your electrode. Now electrode, let's keep it simple, is inert for this case. So it's platinum, the inner electrode. So this will be positive charge, negative charge. This is positive, this is negative. Electron travel this way, uh, and then it go one round, it go back that way. All right, whatever come down must go up. And then what happened is this is negative charge electrode. So the positive ion will be attracted here, whereby at the positive electrode, the negative ion will be attracted there, right? So once again, if there's more than one cation, one anion, we then need to uh, decide who will be preferentially or selectively uh, discharged, okay? So the example, once again, is sodium chloride. Now, sodium chloride in the form of electrolyte, it can exist in three forms. Uh, molten sodium chloride, so it's NaCl liquid state. Dilute NaCl, they are aqueous solution, but it's dilute. So you have more of the water, less of uh, the sodium called sodium chloride. Concentrated is opposite. You have more of NaCl sodium chloride solute, less of the water, all right? Now, the first step is always to write down the ions, whereby I realize a lot of students miss out on that, okay? They must be very good with this. So uh, the ions over here present will be Na plus molten with the state symbols. These help us to prevent careless mistakes, all right? Errors because of carelessness. So this is molten. Dilute will be Na plus aqueous, uh, Cl minus aqueous. Plus do note that dilute, there is water. So you still have your H plus and your OH minus ions present. Same for this side, concentrated. Let me write all this down first. Okay, now, then what? Next. Um, you realize that you and concentrated, right? Uh, they seem to have the same type of ions. It's true, but in the concentration, they are different. Later, take a look uh, on the dilute and the concentrated solution. We talk about the easy one, molten sodium chloride. So there's only one cation, one anion, so it's very easy, right? So I'm going to use a black color on this side. For at the cathode, the cation will be attracted to it. So Na plus, all right, molten, will take in electron, you'll get reduced to become molten sodium. Whereby at the anode side, it will be your anions, so it's Cl minus molten, two of them you get oxidized uh, to become chlorine gas by giving out two electrons, right? So you know who are the main products that are produced if they ask you. For uh, molten sodium chloride, at the cathode, it will be your molten sodium metal. At the anode, it will be your chlorine gas. These are so-called the product or the products, all right, of electrolysis in the electrolytic cell. Now, uh, what about dilute NaCl, all right? Uh, dilute NaCl, we need to play with selective discharge because there's more than one type of cation and more than one type of anion. So let's talk about cation first. There's Na plus ion, there's H plus ions. All right. Based on the ease of discharge series that I've discussed before, H plus ions, your hydrogen ions, will have a higher ease of discharge. So this will be the one that is preferentially discharged. So two of them will come in, take electrons to become hydrogen gas, all right? And then for the anode, the anions, you have chloride and the hydroxide. 
Uh, based on ease of discharge series, once again, hydroxide ions, uh, there are more than chloride ions, as well as the hydroxide ions have a higher ease of discharge than the chloride ions. So it will be your hydroxide ions that is being discharged. All right? so this one, I kind of uh, told my student to memorize it so that we can go very fast. It's 4214, right? 4 digit. So it's 4 hydroxide ions all right? becomes 2 water and then oxygen gas, not enough space, so I'm going to bring it down. 4, 2, 1, 4. All right? If you check in terms of atoms all right, of each element as well as its charges, let me put this nicely. They will all be balanced. So this is a balanced uh, half equation. There's nothing wrong with it, right? Four, two, one, four. It's very good to memorize it so they can go a bit faster, right? No harm, seriously, okay? So uh, this is what you have. You realize uh, this will then be the product uh, produce, cathode will be hydrogen gas, and, and the anode, uh, the main product, I understand as water, but normally we don't uh, consider water as a product. We will say oxygen gas, will be the product at the anodes, all right? So there is already a difference, take a look. The cathode anode uh, products are different when you use these two different electrolytes, okay? Now, uh, let's go to concentrated uh, sodium chloride. This one will be a bit tricky because it's concentrated. Now, concentrated means what? Means Na plus and Cl minus, there is a lot. It has a high concentration. And uh, if you watch my previous video, I mentioned that uh, concentration affects the discharge of anions. All right. So cations actually does not depend on concentration. So let's talk about the cathode, the, the cations first. So over here is only based on ease of discharge series. So cations, Na plus, H plus. Who has high ease of discharge? All right. It will be H plus. So. This will be the same equation as above. And then the product will be your hydrogen gas. You don't consider the concentration when it comes to discharge of cations at the cathode. All right? Now then we need to consider at the anode. When your chloride ions has higher ease, has lower ease of discharge than hydroxide ions, by right it should be hydroxide ions that come out here. But because chloride ions, there's a lot more than hydroxide ions, it will be preferentially discharged. All right. So this side, we're going to have your chloride ions. And you're going to form this equation. And the product will be chlorine gas. Okay. So now you take a look. Three different electrolytes involving sodium chloride, NaCl, but you have uh, different products, all right, for the cathode and the anode. You can take a look. Do we memorize all this? No. My student in uh, the tuition classes for the last 19 years, we don't memorize kind of anything in this topic. We learn to play with the cell, the basic concepts. We work them out very, very fast, and this will help you to prevent any careless mistakes or errors, well, especially if you uh, memorize and want to regurgitate. You tend to you know, uh, make mistakes here and here, there. So I uh, highly suggest that you're going to do likewise like us in our classes and you're going to work them out, all right? So once again, uh, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoy every part of it. Uh, signing off, this is Sean Chua, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.